Hey everybody, John with Owl, and I hope you can tell it's in my hand. This is the brand new Owl side ladder. It's darn light, if you can tell by how I'm holding it. And we're gonna throw this on the van, and then I'm gonna walk you through the brand new features that we've introduced with this side ladder because it's like no other side ladder that's been on the market until now. I feel like I should have some sort of smoke and mirrors to unveil it, but there it is. I'm actually not even gonna talk for a little bit. I'm just gonna roll some footage because I'm so biased, but I think this thing came out so beautiful. I think this ladder is the perfect intersection of form and function. Let's talk about form. First of all, we laser scanned the Sprinter van so that we had every contour that Mercedes has in this, but we also got the flares into the laser scan so that we're able to contour this van so tight. So if you come in the side and look at how tight this is, I'm actually gonna get my tape measure out because you look at clearance on this van. I mean, you're talking about the tubes being two and a quarter, two and a half inches off, and as you go down, it gets tighter. Why is it important that it gets tighter down here? This is where you catch stuff. Anyone that's been off-roading before knows that down here in front of your tires, you put your tires on the obstacle. That means obstacles are gonna be heading this way. That's why we reroute the exhaust. Our exhaust that moves the Revel exhaust from the front of the tire to back tucked up here is because this is where you wanna put obstacles. So what do we do? We hugged it super tight to that bottom rail and then made it tight to the van. Well, why don't other people do that? Well, it's because other people use a solid rod or bar between the, the two uprights. And if you put the ladder super close to the van and then use a rod, you don't have room for your foot. So you'll notice we made these bottom tread plates stick out even more. So these are actual individual tread plates for each spot on the ladder. And we contoured the angle and the stick out of that tread plate so that you've got almost four inches to put your foot on that bottom rung. And that's why you're holding on. Meanwhile, that tube is a little over two inches off the van. So you've got the best of both worlds. You've got killer ground clearance, and then you've also got a tread that's gonna work for stepping on. The other thing you're gonna notice about the treads right away, they look totally different. In addition to being individualized for each section of the ladder, they've got what's kind of become a kind of trademark of owl gear, which is the multifunction Sherpa hole pattern. This allows you to have a side ladder that gets used when you need to climb it, but when you're not using it, you can attach roto packs, traction boards, um, the, uh, shovel, all kinds of different products. We, we're even gonna have different mounts here that allow you to carry uh, your paddle boards, your surfboards, all kinds of modularity. And I'm sure people are gonna design all kinds of cool stuff for this that I don't even know about yet. Uh, I just saw something the other day where somebody designed these really cool hooks for our Sherpa that plug in and out of our Sherpa. And that's something really cool that could work on the ladder. So you'll see we added a little bit more storage down here. And then as you go up, it's a little bit lighter. The other thing I think that is important to talk about, not just the contour, but if you look right here, we actually made this ladder in two pieces. I'm a big fan of the strength of tubular designs. This is all mandrel bent tube aluminum. But at the same time, shipping something has a lot of cost, especially these days. So how do we make something that isn't like this Ikea dumpster fire that you open up with a thousand pieces and you're trying to bolt it together, but also get it to you in good shape, not damaged and at a reasonable rate. And so what we did is we decided to make it in two pieces. This is actually a machine bracket. Maybe I can splice in some video of what this bracket looks like before it gets powdered. This is a very expensive for us, but it's a machine bracket that is borrowed from how they design uh, removable roof racks for like UTVs and off-road buggies and so on. So incredibly strong mount. I mean, absolutely rock solid. What that allows See? us to do is we can spend more on this ladder. Our competitors have a ladder priced, you know, at X price, but then it's like $250, $300 to ship because the thing's enormous. And then it's gonna poke through the box and it's gonna be destroyed and that's gonna suck. And so what we did is we broke it into two pieces. So that thing's gonna ship in a box that's gonna to arrive to you, it's gonna be light. This entire ladder, 18 pounds. 18 pounds, 
I've had Thanksgiving meals bigger than that. So this thing's 18 pounds, it fits in a small box, it arrives to you, you've got four bolts, and now all of a sudden you've got a full length ladder. Um, I'm really happy with how it came out, and I think when you see it in person, you're gonna see how this design looks absolutely gorgeous. The best technology in this ladder is probably something that you can't even tell right away. At the top, the way we designed our bracket is to be incredibly low profile, but again, coming over the contours of the van. And you can see what we've done with the bracket is that it mounts into the roof rail, that means that no matter what your roof rack is, no matter what's on your van, it's gonna work because you've gotta have a, a roof rail from Mercedes to have a roof rack. It comes out really lean and tight to the van. It's made of steel, it's got gussets, it's incredibly strong. At the top, we use four steel bolts because that's where the load is. We've got a vertical load. Here's the most important thing about a side ladder. We talked about ground clearance. Why has Owl never done a side ladder in the past? It's because side ladders have a propensity to damage your van. How do they damage your van? Well, what happens is it's hard to tell with our side ladder, but if I show you some footage of other side ladders that come out, they come out low and they come out really far. It's an absolute recipe for getting hung up on a rock. And then the worst part about that is they sink like three or four bolts through the pinch weld of the van to make it strong. Well, that's not carrying any load. The load is on the top bolts. The ladder's resting against the pinch weld. You don't need to make that mount strong. So what did we do? We actually purposely engineered that mounting point to be incredibly weak. These are aluminum bolts. The shear strength is incredibly low. What's important about that is even though this is high and tight, should this ever get hooked on something, those bolts break before the pinch weld does. I mean, it seems incredibly simple when you think about it in hindsight, but what we've done is we've made it so that if you catch this ladder on something, what happens? Those bolts break. We can replace those bolts easily. You don't destroy your van. You don't destroy the rocker panel of your van. And the ladder's just as strong when you climb it because we have all the incredibly strong steel hardware up on the top of the ladder. This is one of my favorite parts about the ladder. And I would encourage you that unless you have some type of mount such as this, and I'm sure the competitors will copy it, don't put a side ladder on your van because you are asking the moment you go down a trail that has any kind of fun to it, trees, bushes, stumps, rocks, that's a recipe for disaster. So that's just some of the technology and thought that we put into this ladder uh, as we designed it. I just like to stand back and look at this ladder because I think it complements the look of this van and it ties in so well. Our side steps, which depending on when you watch this video, will either be on the market or out very soon. We purposely ended the side step so you've got a nice clean area to mount your ladder. And overall, you know, climbing this thing, nobody looks good climbing a ladder, but it's, you can see how solid it is. I'm 215 pounds. So you can see how absolutely rock solid this thing is. That is the owl side ladder. Hopefully you can see why it took almost a year to design from the different tread plates in their different position, from making the ladder modular, making it come in two pieces with that specific mount that we machined for this, the breakaway attachment to the bottom. We have put a ton of time and effort into this ladder and hopefully it shows when you see it in person. It's available on our website now. If you ever have any questions, whether it's about side ladders, your van recommendations, we are always here to talk to you. Our customer support is always a phone call away alvans.com. <laughs>